Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday, and today we're making a bunny rabbit pot holder. It's a project that goes together lickety split, so you'll have a decorative pot holder for your Easter holiday kitchen. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com for even more sewing and crafting projects. All right. Let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need a piece of front fabric measuring 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches, a backing fabric measuring 10.5 inches by 10.5 inches, a piece of cotton fabric for the bunny 7 inches by 7 inches, two pieces of cotton batting measuring 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches, You'll need a piece of heat and bond. It's a sewable paperbacked adhesive measuring 7 inches by 7 inches. And basting spray if you have it. And you'll need the template downloaded from debsdays.com. I've added a link in the description below this video. If you'd rather have the written version of these instructions, I have it available in my Etsy store. I also have that in a link down below in the description. Place your bunny fabric with the right side facing down, wrong side facing up. We need to trim a little bit off all of the edges of the heat and bond because we want it a little bit smaller than our fabric piece. Go ahead and iron it on, following the directions on your heat and bond packaging. Now place your template on top. If you want your pot holder with the rabbit facing to the left, you'll actually need to flip the template over so it faces the right. Now if you want your pot holder with your bunny facing to the right, you need to flip the template to the left. I want my bunny facing left, so I'm going to flip it to the right. And I'm going to trace around it. When it's been traced, go ahead and cut it out. Peel the paper backing off of your bunny. Take your front fabric and face it with the right side facing up. On top, place your bunny. Make sure it's centered and iron it on. Take your backing fabric with the right side facing down, wrong side facing up. Sorry, it's a little hard to see on my pressing board. Center a cotton batting in the middle. On top of that, place your bunny fabric piece. Use your basting spray to spray all of the layers of the batting and then smooth it down. If you don't have basting spray, make sure you use plenty of pins to hold it in place. I'm going to actually add some additional clips. I'm using my Clover Wonder Clips to hold it even better. We need to stitch our bunny down all the way around. Here's a tip of something I do before I do my stitching. I take a couple scraps with a piece of batting inside and practice different stitch lengths and widths until I get the stitch I like. When your bunny's been stitched onto the pot holder, we need to use the backing as our binding. Fold the raw edge of the backing fabric to meet the raw edge of the front fabric. Then fold it over one more time, iron it down, and use some clips to hold it in place. Flip it around and do the same with the other side. Fold the raw edges in, flip it over one more time, iron it, and hold it in place with clips. And do the same with the other two sides. I just fold in the corners just like I am the sides. To secure the binding, stitch all the way around the pot holder near that open edge, all the way around the entire thing. If you'd like to do some additional quilting on the pot holder, you can do that now, or you can leave it as is. And just like that, you have a decorative pot holder for your Easter holiday kitchen. Remember, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com to find even more sewing and crafting projects. See you next week with another project.